Will my treatment affect my sex life? The experience of intimacy and sexuality is strongly influenced by psychological and physical well-being. Cancer and cancer treatment can significantly influence your psychological and physical well-being and consequently also sexuality. The psychological impact. A cancer diagnosis turns your life upside down and you may question what you previously took for granted. The acute phase leaves little room for sexual desire because the disease takes up all of the patient's energy and strength. On top of this, there is also the fear for one's life and concern for the future of the loved ones. The uncertainties and stress brought on by the disease can result in decreased longing for intimacy and sexuality. Many cancer patients report a loss of sexual desire during treatment and even afterwards. The physical consequences of cancer that affect sexuality depend on where the cancer is in the body but also on the treatments that the patient receives. Cancers of the small pelvic area or of the genitals can have a direct impact on the way sexuality is experienced. Direct effects of cancer, such as shortness of breath and general fatigue can also interfere. The type of treatment, such as surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, or hormone therapy can have a significant impact on sexual desire. The side effects of treatments, such as hair loss, skin problems, fatigue, and changed body image, can also indirectly affect your sex life. During the treatment, it is not unusual to have fewer or no sexual relations at all for a certain period of time. Once the illness is behind you, and if you also feel like it, you will probably spontaneously start having sexual relations again, but you may also face some difficulties. It is important not to feel guilty about this. There are no norms or standards to follow regarding the frequency and type of sexuality. There is no such thing as a normal sex life. What matters the most is that it is satisfying for you and your partner. Be patient and try to talk about it with your partner. Dialogue and communication will help you overcome certain difficulties. Gradually, you can determine together the importance of the changes in your intimacy and decide whether or not you need professional support. Being able to talk about it often helps you maintain a satisfying intimate relationship regardless of the impact on your sexuality itself. It may be very difficult to discuss your sexuality with your healthcare providers. However, do not hesitate to ask any questions you may have. If necessary, your healthcare providers can refer you to a specialist, such as a psychologist or sex therapist. A few sessions can sometimes be enough to help you deal with any problems you may face. Please don't hesitate to ask the care team at the hospital or your GP any questions you may have.